Hey, what's up, guys? It's S2G, and welcome back to another episode of my Manchester United career mode series. And this episode, we have games against Man City, Bury, and Newcastle United. Before we start off with this video, if you guys want to buy some cheap and reliable coins, check out FIFAcoinsBuy.com. They'll deliver safely, and you'll get the coins very quickly. And in this episode, our first game is against Man City, and it's possibly the worst game to play in the transfer window. And I'm saying that because my form in the transfer window is always bullshit. And as you can see, 13 points separate us and Man City, which is a lot to cover up. So I don't think we can win the league, but definitely can put a lot of pressure to be second or third. But, you know, we need to try and win the league. Obviously, that's our objective. Have a look at their lineups, though. They're playing with, a, I think that's a 4-4-1-1 formation, or you can say a 4-2-3-1 formation itself. And they have players like Matai Kavani who can, you know, cause, cause a lot of problems to us. And we are also playing with a 4-2-3-1 formation. And this Sam is playing as the cam. And this is probably his last game for the club. And it's unfortunately unfortunate to see him go, but there's no other way to improve our club. And yeah, so anyways, it's, we have to give him a good sending off, but that's currently what we're not going to be doing. As Fernandinho was given an easy chance to get give them the lead, but thank God the higher made the save. But in the 33rd minute of this game, Benzema managed to somehow go past the defence. And with a cheeky little finish, he does score. Now, that was, you know, a very cheeky finish. Benzema with his left foot just slides the ball in. The keeper had no chance because he dived the wrong side. I think. Look at that from Benzema. He goes past the defense with these. He shoots the keeper. And that actually good attempt from Billy Caballero, but he couldn't save it. But in the 42nd minute of this game, they do manage to come back into this game with Mata, who scores against this former team. Sorry. And yeah, it's unfortunate to see him score against us last time we played them. He did assist that game, and I I, I feel like you know why I sold him. To a rival club, I should have sold him to some team in maybe Spain or Germany or something like that. But anyways, we were trying to get back into this game, you know, take the lead because that's what we need. And Benzema, you know, completely ruins that chance with that pathetic shot. But in the 59th minute of this game, we managed to do something as, you know, Benzema played the ball to Rooney. Rooney somehow managed to get there and Rooney with the finish. And Rooney scores in his last Manchester game. And then, you know, ironically, it's the Manchester derby too. So it's fantastic to see that Rangers Rooney has probably this would be the winner, but we, we need to see if you know we have to keep it this way. But it's going to be tough because Man City are a fantastic side, and look at that for a save from De Gea. Wonderful work from him. He's been keeping us in this game, but unfortunately in the 68th minute he does you know perform a howler by giving Mata a chance to score in an open goal. And now because he did miss that, I'm not sure it's because of that. He does, uh, he does get subbed off for David Silva. And in the 79th minute of this game, Di Maria does get a chance to put us 3-1 up, you know, probably to seal the game. But he couldn't get hold on that shot. And they did have a chance at the dying moments of this game as Toure plays in the ball to David Silva, who shoots it. But the shot is just wide. Now, we have been so lucky in this game to win this game. Yes, guys, we have won the game against Man City. And it was such a tough game, but we did manage to get through it. And... The 4-2-3-1 formation seems to work a lot. I'm getting players like Di Maria much more involved. And it's good to see that. And the board are also happy with our performance. And unfortunately, uh, Everton aren't happy with the offer. So we're going to be offering what they want. 18.5 Hernandez. I, I personally think I'm overpaying for him. But I have the money then. Why not go for him? And I really want to buy a few English players. Because, you know, it's not right buying only other nationalities. Players of other nationalities. We're obviously playing in England, so we need at least a few English players. So that's the only reason I signed Barkley, and probably he's also a very good player. And as you can see here, the Cruz offer has been accepted, and now we're just you know going for the Ross Barkley offer. It's fantastic to see Cruz join us, and it's gonna be he's gonna be he's gonna be so crucial for us against that game against Bayern in that game against Bayern, and he's gonna be making his debut for us against Bury. Which is good to see. I hope he gets grabs a goal for himself. But obviously, he is a midfielder, so that's highly unlikely. But we'll see what happens. And guys, we are playing in the Old Trafford against Bury in the FA Cup. And obviously, let's get this game started. And as you can see, at the start of the game, Dybala does snatch the ball away from their defenders. And he does manage to score. What a goal from Dybala to snatch the ball from the defender. He just dropped the ball from the defenders. And a cheeky little finish from Paulo Dybala. As you can see, he goes away from the defender with, and... He just slots it home. That was a very good finish and he gets his first goal in the FA Cup. But we weren't done yet as Herrera with the ball plays the ball to Cruz. And look at that for a strike from Cruz. Just smashes it in 
to the left side of the goal and he does get his first goal in his debut game and it's fantastic to see that he has already scored first and in this game he was just amazing in this game he was playing the ball you know elegantly he was doing a lot of things in this game creating a ch lot of ch half chances and all and he does get his reward for that look at that for a strike from Tony Cruz he gets his first goal in the FA Cup and as you can see we weren't done yet as Herrera in the 78th minute played the ball to Paulo Dybala who just kept on running kept on running kept on running and finished it with ease now it did hit the keeper and go in but a goal is a goal and Paulo Dybala gets his second goal of this game and that means guys we have qualified for the next ah sorry what is my throat uh, we have qualified for the next round of the FA Cup which is obviously good to see and that's all, always a good thing to win the FA Cup because we did win it last season the Capital One Cup as well as the FA Cup this season I really want to try and win the BPL which is obviously looking tough but as you can see here Ross Markley has accept, accepted his offer and also there has there's some bad news and that is that uh, and that Herrera has been injured for three months so that's that's pathetic news but we should be able to cope with it because we have players like Lingard and all to help us and have a look at our final squad for this season at least we have so many good players and I think this squad can definitely win the Champions League but for that we need to get past Bayern Munich which is obviously a mammoth task but we should be able to do it if we play well which is gonna be so tough but let's think about this game against Newcastle now and yeah guys I'm going pretty much with my first team and I'm sure this team can get me the victory and yeah, I'm playing Isco, I'm playing Cruz again for his Premier League debut and I'm sure he should be able to grab an assist or a goal for himself and guys, we are playing at the St. James's Park obviously it's a very tough stadium to go and win but we're going to be trying to do that and as you can see, we're doing just that as Benzema plays the ball to as Depay plays the ball to Benzema and Benzema finishes it with ease that was a very good finish with his left foot, smashes it in I think that was the left side of the goal, yeah And but they do manage to come back into this game as Gabriel Obertan does play ball to Graziano Pele who smashes it into the bottom right corner and we should have defended much better because you know they just played an over the top through ball to Pele who's so slow we shouldn't have let that happen and also but we're trying to get back into this game as in the 27th minute of this game Benzema plays the ball to Tony Cruz who smashes it in to get his first goal in the Premier League Tony Cruz has been having an awesome start to his career in Manchester just look at that from Cruz he gets hold of the ball and smashes it in. The keeper should have done much better, but he couldn't do anything about it. That was a very good shot from Tony Cruz to put us 2-1 up in this game. But we weren't done yet, as Benzema was played a ball by, I think that was Herrera or Isco. But he couldn't convert that into a goal. He's been playing really well recently. Obviously, he went, I think, five games without scoring and then scored against Man City and now against Newcastle. But guys, we were in the second 98 minute of this game. We tried to, you know, win this, seal this game as a ball was played to Barkley. For on his debut gets a goal I did bring him on in the latter stages of this game to see if he could get a goal for himself and he did just that so the new signings already have made an impact which is good to see that my signings have worked and as you can see the team players are celebrating now the fans are obviously and Newcastle fans aren't happy in the next episode we'll be playing against Spurs Crystal Palace and Everton in the FA Cup obviously that game will be played in the Goodison Park apart from that have a look at the league table yeah as you can see we are in fifth place just three points separate us from being second and I think eight points us eight points separate us from being at the top of the league and that's basically that for this episode and apart from that guys have a look at the goals top goal scorer Steven Naismith is up and you know top goal scorer and this is our final squad we're gonna be using apart from that hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did please leave a like subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in my next video